It's always been music. I want to be on stage and play music and stuff. And my mom told me, like, first thing I ever did was saying la la, you know, and pointed at the radio. That was the first word I ever said, la la, <laughs> like sound music, you know. And always sitting by the radio and just going, huh, you know. So I guess it was meant for me to be this way. I remember I was like eight years old. I played the song for my brother and his girlfriend when they were sitting on the bed, and I was like eight years old and played the first song and it really sucked but it was the first song so <laughs> with also singing and playing you know so that was kind of crazy my cousin had a drum set and I always liked to bang on it you know I couldn't play but then so I think the first thing I got was acoustic guitar my dad said like okay you can take lessons and stuff and that was so boring you know sit and learn notes and stuff and I'm like I don't need this I'm gonna be a rock star I don't need no fucking notes <laughs> so uh, then I got tired of it, and then I wanted to start playing drums, and they're like, we're not going to buy you a drum set, and then you're going to quit right away. But then my teacher in school had a drum set she always brought with her you know, to school so we could play and stuff. And then one night my dad saw me play, and then that was it. I got a drum set. <laughs> and I sticked with that till I was like 20, 21 years old. Then I started playing guitars again because it was easier to write music standing with the guitar and sitting behind the drums and telling everybody how to play and stuff. My dad actually was building uh, synthesizers and keyboards in the beginning of the 70s and stuff. Because he's more into electronic and he's also a computer uh, engineer or whatever you can call it, you know. So he's always been into electronic stuff, you know. And uh, of course, you know, I was brought up on Jean Michel Jarre, you know because my, that was my dad's you know, all-time favorite. He always played that stuff, and he was making these keyboards and trying to play it sounded like hell, you know, but it, it would have been smart if I learned, but you know, it's always like that, you know. Uh, you want your kid to be like you, or you don't want your kid to be like you, kind of, you know, but he tried to teach me with uh, ohms and stuff like that on, on uh, what's it called? Um, the electronic that's inside a thing on a card. Like t -t 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 all, all the components and stuff like that, and now he went in here and he went out there. You know, I wasn't interested. So they've always been very supportive and, and stuff. You know, for me, you know, they always drove me with the drums in behind in the back seat and stuff like that, left and right here and there. And you know, and I was yeah, it was really good that they they always drove me everywhere so I could bring my drums to wherever we were playing and stuff. You know. I think the most important thing to become a, a a music writer is just keep on writing and writing and writing and writing, you know, you know, and then you start to get a little finesse on it, you know, and then it gets hopefully better and better. And that, for me, it's always been like I never gave up, you know, I've always been very stubborn and just trying and trying. I've always been doing things that I can't do, you know, because it's uh, set the goals too high, you know, but constantly of, of working on it, you just raise the bar higher and higher, you know. So I think that's the most important thing, just keep on doing what you do and always follow your heart, you know. Don't look on what is in today, what's popular today, because that might not be tomorrow, you know. So for me, I, I always go like, okay, I only do what I feel I want to hear. That's why that's called developing as a musician also, you know. When I started my bands, First, I, I, I wanted to copy this band that I really liked, you know. And then when you've do, done that for a while, you start to grow in your own footsteps, kind of. So you develop your own thing, you know. But in the beginning, you, uh, you go like if you have a favorite band, oh, I love Kiss, I want to sound like Kiss. So you start writing music like them or whatever, you know, any band, you know. And then after a while doing that, you start taking steps outside this, what influenced you, and you start working on your own road, kind of, you know. And uh, for me, it's always been like, practice, practice, practice. And practicing, I mean like, write songs all the time, you know. Some, some people it comes easy, some people it comes worse. It all depends the individual. You start stumbling in on maybe different music styles and you start going like, wow, this was fun to play, this kind of music style. Even maybe you don't like the music style, but 
sometimes it's good to try everything, you know, and uh, to set out to see where you fit in, you know, because it's like a big smurgos board, you know, a lot of things that you can take from and then you find your favorite thing and, you know, but that takes many years, you know, to find your, your own thing that you really like. I'm a very big Shania Twain fan, for example, you know, Johnny Cash, of course, Beatles, um, but also the heavier stuff, you know, also the moon metal, you know, dark, uh, death metal, black metal and stuff, you know, so for me, I I just listen to all kinds of stuff and I was brought up on, on everything when I was a kid. My, I have a bigger brother, he feeding me with heavy stuff, you know, my neighbor was constantly buying albums all the time and I discovered new bands all the time, so. You know, I think it's very important to be open-minded, to listen to all kinds of stuff because all these stuff, the, the, the best of it sticks in your head, I guess, and that's what influences you if you're going to write music, I think. I never set out to, to write music to change the world or anything like that, but you know, I, I just want people to get in a good mood when they listen to the music I, I write. A positive thing, like to boost up some energy in the body, you know. Slowly, baby steps, it goes up with pain. You know, it doesn't go like boom and explode because then fast up, fast down, I think. You know, so it's, I think it's good to have your foundation to, to stand on before you, you know, you take constant steps and progress both in bringing people to concerts or selling albums or whatever, you know, slowly. But, you know, it's not an overnight phenomenon, you know, it's hard work and, yeah, you, you got to have your heart in the right place, you know. You know, you gotta follow your heart and do what you believe is right. If I would stop music, I would probably be a chef because I really enjoy making food. You know, like I said, like something that takes a long time, like a really hot chili or, or like lamb stew or whatever, you know, something that really has to take a long time. And I love to prepare, do like bianne sauce and different kind of sauces and shit like that. It's, it's almost like mixing music, but this is like mixing with food and stuff and it's it's great to eat food. Nah. I sit and, and watch cooking shows in, in, in Sweden sometimes, you know. I'd rather see that than a movie or something. You know, I just go, aha, oh cool. Then you get inspired, I wanna try this. So the next day you try it, you know, and it's like, mm, I think I have to do it a couple more times to get it good, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna do a cooking show. We wanted to do it, but maybe next time. But it's gonna be more primitive, more like uh, for 20 year old guys leaving mom and dad and surviving single men's club kind of thing, you know.